Okay, so here's another cool way of going one to four. You can go one, one seven, dominant seven that is, to four. Now some explanation and some ideas for how to use that. Um, remember when I talked about seventh chords? There's a whole video on seventh chords and I showed you how just like you can build major and minor and a diminished chord um, by just going, taking the notes of the scale and just going one three five, one three five, you end up with some major, some minor, and diminished. Okay. Similarly, you can go one three five seven, and that's how you build seventh chords, and you end up with some major seventh chords, some minor seventh chords, uh, a diminished seventh chord, and one dominant seventh chord, which is a major minor seventh. It's a major chord with a minor seven interval over it. Okay. So that is like this. That's the one that sounds kind of bluesy. It's a very distinctive feeling to it. That's a dominant seventh. And that's the one that's just called, um, like if you see or hear C7, E flat seven, The uh, it implies dominant seventh. If it was a, a major seventh, which sounds different, or a minor seventh, or a diminished seventh, those would be indicated. But if it's just like C7, it means dominant seventh. This is actually the most commonly used kind of seventh in popular music, even though it only naturally occurs over the five chord. So I want us to keep in mind two things. One, the dominant seven only naturally occurs with the five chord. So it's forever associated with the five chord. And number two, as we've already seen, five to one is our strongest cadence. And if you want to make it, make it extra clear, go 5-7 to 1. Keep those two things in mind. Now, what's going on here? That's a new note that doesn't belong to the key of C. C key of, here are the notes of the key of C. Not this one. That's a new note. So why does it fit the way it does? Well. One way to think of it is uh, just a very basic way that doesn't really answer the question fully is just like in the last video, this is a case where you've got one chord in a key, you're going to another chord in the same key, and in between you add a weird note, doesn't belong to the key, but it builds a bit of tension that's then resolved. So that's true. But to be a little more specific about it, it it's basically like we're treating the one, sorry, the one chord as the five of the four. Now this may sound similar to something I showed you in the, the video on the six chord when I went the five of the six to make it feel like you were in A minor. Same kind of thing, same thing. Um, because, check this out, let's say we were Let's say we wanted to treat four, our four chord, which is F, as a one chord temporarily. What would be the five of it? Well, multiple ways to figure that out. Here's one. Four is our one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, slash one. So the one chord is the five of the four. Sounds like a cadence, doesn't it? Five. Right. Another way to think of it is if, well, if you know the pattern of a major scale, you just start on F and play it. One, two, three, four, five. You're on C note, make a C. Okay. So that's interesting. Interesting relationship we discovered. But since we're starting out in C, it's going to feel like you're in C and when you go to F, that would normally just feel like you're going 1-4, not 5-1. So how do you make it feel, again, even just in passing, as if it is kind of a 5-1 to one cadence? Well, you introduce that 7th that only occurs over a 5 chord. Oh, so it's the 5 of... This next chord, which is the four, and you can still feel like you're in C. 
it's not like you've definitely modulated, you've shifted keys and you're now forevermore until further notice in the key of F. Not necessarily. You could easily fall back to C and and not retrospectively, you don't necessarily consider it a, a modulation. Like, ah, there was no big shift in there anywhere. It was just kind of in passing. But it's a cool effect. Basically, one way, well, think of it like this. It's the effect of going five to one is that it gives you a distinctive sense of satisfaction of like going home, right? Now, you can kind of spread that around. That doesn't need to belong to just one chord. You can, you can kind of share that. You can lend some of that feeling to, in this case, the four chord. Now, you can actually do it with any chord. But in this particular video, I'm showing you with the four chord. And here's a classic way of doing that. You basically play in the key of C, play in the key of C, it's your one. But then you show that it's also the five of the four. Oh, and, and can we go to the four? Yeah, we did go to the four. Nice. Right? So that's why it's kind of expected. Even if you don't understand what's going on in the way I just explained it, you still feel it. Right? And that's why it doesn't feel like a, such a, a weird note to introduce, even though it doesn't belong to the key. Now, if you want to make it extra not weird, you can introduce it, um, you can build up to it melodically. You can kind of lead into it. Uh, here's a couple, here are a couple ways of doing that. C7, C6, then C7. See that? Just by kind of mounting up melodically. It makes the introduction to that seven just, um, well, you see what's happening, right? I don't need to explain it more than that. You create a sense of momentum, a sense of direction. Do, do, okay, something's happening. Are we going somewhere? Oh, we are. Are we going up here? No, just, just the very next one. Oh, so it's like that dominant thing. Okay, right? Or you could come down to it. Uh, sorry. Do, 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 four minor. One. So that's how you can use just melodic movement around chord changes, one way, uh, to kind of smooth things out and make it feel like really like it was all planned. <laughs> and not just like abrupt, like not that that's super abrupt or, or weird. You can totally do that. And it's not weird. Um, but you can just, you can use melodic things in, in the way I showed you. So there are some ideas. Four to one. Uh, I mean, one to four. You can go one, one, seven, four. Anytime you're sitting on the one for a while and you know you're going to go to four, try uh, making it a one, seven just before you go to the four and see the effect it has.